What is up, guys? Check out this new glitter text pack. This is a show called Will It Work, a show where we test out templates to see if they're as good as they say that they are. A huge plus when I check out a template is if the template doesn't look or feel like a template. I hate templates that look template-y. This is a template on Envato Elements, and if you're one of the thousands of people that have already clicked on the link in the description to take advantage of our $9 deal, well then this is free for you to download at no extra charge. It takes like two seconds. If you haven't yet signed up for Elements, just click on the link below. It takes like 60 seconds. Let's get started. I'm gonna click on download. First thing that I see is that this is an After Effects effects pack, which is great. This means I'm not gonna have to be dealing with Mogarts. Mogarts can be great, but also they can be kind of troublesome at times. For example, we have effects packs that we actually have on Envato Elements, but the way that we make our Mogarts, we make them so that they're very light in the timeline. They're not very heavy, so they're great. Not every Mogart-based Premiere Pro effects pack is like that though, so it's something you gotta be wary of sometimes. So I downloaded this zipped folder. I'm gonna extract everything out of it. First thing I'm worried about is how fast is this template gonna run in my timeline? Is it gonna be too laggy to have any practical use? Let's see. Okay, it looks like I have a main After Effects folder that has my project file. Then I have a fonts folder with text document. Let's see what it says. So it looks like I need to purchase a font if I want the text to mirror the same font that I saw in the preview video. I hope this font doesn't cost any money. Montserrat, Google Fonts. I'm gonna say get font download all. Perfect, I guess Google Fonts is free? Did not know that. I've never downloaded a font off of Google Fonts. What's funny is, I'm probably not gonna even use this font. I have a specific channel font that I use. For everything that I use on the YouTube channel, we're probably gonna use that one. Okay, we're gonna go into the project file and open up this project in After Effects. So, we see three folders here. It says edit, one, two, render, and then three, other. I don't know if you have to really worry about the other folder. So right now I'm gonna just focus on edit, which is where we insert our source media, which is basically gonna be our text, what we want the main render to say. Then we have background. That's if we want something in the background. And then we have the main render comp called glitter, where everything gets smushed together. And this is what our final result actually looks like. So for example, this is easy. This is just like most templates in After Effects. It's pretty simple. You have your input, then you have your output. So insert source. We're in this comp. We can change the name. I don't know if you can see it. it actually says glitter on there. Let's make sure we go to text. And then we're going to put, let's put my name, Josh Olu. Let's put just Josh for now. Can't really see it that well because it's on a transparent checker background, but let's go over to character. I told you guys we have a channel font that we use. It's called alternate gothic number one D. We're gonna use that. This shrinks the letters a little bit so I can actually fit the rest of my name on here. Josh Olufemi, perfect. Glitter, the main render comp. Let's press play. That's pretty nice. I actually like how this looks. This plays through relatively smoothly and it looks like an in-camera effect. Like this looks so real. I love just the, it's so tangible. You can literally see the glitter falling off of the, the letters. It does not look like digitally crafted text, but looks like a real in-camera glitter scene that was actually crafted by hand. So I assume here I can turn the background on and off. So say I wanted to put this on my own footage, I could turn the background on and off, which is perfect. Let's turn it back on just so I can see it clear. Let's see if I can do any type of adjustments. Like maybe I wanna, what if I wanna change the color of this glitter? I don't maybe want it to necessarily be gold the whole time. Let's see if I have any options as far as that goes. Let's go back into insert source. This text box is kind of annoying. That's this thing right here. I don't really like this box. I'm gonna just turn that off. I'm gonna go and blind it. There we go. And so now I only have the letters. Now again, let's figure out how to change the color, if I can, of these letters. Figured it out. It's pretty simple. You have your insert source where you insert your source. You have your background where you change your background or decide not to have a background. Then you go to your glitter comp, your main render comp, and then you go to controller, then go to effects controls, and then you can go into custom color, and then you can uncheck that. And what that does is it prevents that gold color from being the default color, and this template then instead draws that color from the source media. So right now I have white text, so it's like white, AKA silver. But if I wanted to then change the color, I'd go back into my source media, go to project, go to insert source. And I change the color of my text to say red. There we go. And if I go to my glitter comp now, there we go. The glitter is now red. It's that simple. 
All in all, I actually rate this template a 10 out of 10. First time on this show. I think it's a beautiful looking template. It looks like it's made in camera. It's a template that doesn't look like a template. And three, it plays pretty fast in your timeline. I'm very impressed. I would definitely download this from Elements. Anyone that wants to download this template and has already signed up for Elements in the first link, go over to the second link now and you can download this template at no extra charge right from the website. Whoever made this template, kudos.